Good day, learners. We shall continue from part one of fishery. We are still on fishery and fish farming. At the end of today's lesson, learners are expected to list and explain at least four fishing tools, list fish products, enumerate at least five uses of fish and fish products, explain risk factors in water and fish farming. Fishing tools. Fishing tools are different types of equipment used in harvesting fish. The use of any of these equipment depends on the body of water where the farmer intends to use it, whether deep or shallow, the type, age and size of the fish to be harvested. The following are common types of fishing tools. We have the fishing nets. There are different kinds of nets used for harvesting fish. Number one, we have the scoop net. The scoop net is used for harvesting fish after draining the pond. It is also used in counting and weighing fish. The next one is the gill net. This is used for selective cropping of fish. Then we have the cast net. It is used for trapping fish within an area. We now have the sand net. It is, this net can also be used with the fishing vessel. Then we have the troll net. The troll net is used in seas and oceans by a fish vessel called trawler to catch large quantity of fish at a time. We have the fishing traps, that's number two. After the types of nets, the next one we have is a fishing trap. These are made of wire girls or reeds, bamboo, raffia palms, oil palms and coconut fronds. It has an entrance and a bait is fixed at one end of the trap. Examples, we have the funnel entrance trap and the trigger traps. The next one is the fishing basket. Now these are used mostly in shallow waters to harvest fishes. They are made of materials such as oil palm, fronds, coconut fronds, raffia palms and sticks. Then we have the hook and line. This is used for trapping fish. It consists of hook, sinker, line, and handle, which may be made of wooden, of wood, sorry, or metal. A bait, most especially earthworm or insect larva, is attached to the hook to attract fishes. Gods or pots. These tools are commonly used in some communities where fishing is a major occupation or during fishing festivals or competitions. 
An example is Argungu Fishing Festival in Kebi State, Nigeria. This tool is commonly used there. Okay, we have the fishing spears or harpoons. These are used for impaling of fish when struggling to escape from the net. It may not be necessary struggling to escape from the net. This fishing spear or harpoon are also called wooden equipment. They can be also used directly to catch fish. In so doing, the, the fisherman can enjoy the fish. Okay, the next we shall be looking at risk factors in water and fish farming. Oh my god. Okay, uses of fish and fish products. Fish can be used as food. Fish is an important source of protein in human diets. It can also be used for medicine. Oil obtained from fish can be used as medicine, for example, the cold liver oil. Fish can be used in making soap. Oil from fish can also be used for soap making. Example, the cold liver oil can also be used for making a soap. Fish can be used as fish meal. Ground fish is used in livestock feeds as source of protein. Fish bones can be used in making of glue and fertilizer. Fish and fish products are sold by farmers for money, hence they can be used as source of income. They can also be used for aesthetic purposes. Some species of fish are used in aquarium for aesthetic purposes, most especially the goldfish. Now, fish skin, most especially of some fishes, are used for the production of leather. Fish leather is known as chagrin. Risk factors in water and fish farming. There are some factors that have the potential to impact fish production negatively. And these factors are number one, climatic factors such as flooding which can lead to the destruction of fish ponds resulting in loss of fish and it may introduce pathogens and predators into the ponds then we have the drought which can lead to reduction of water thereby causing the death of fish we have outbreak of diseases which can affect fish population negatively and lead to total loss of stock then discharge of chemical or industrial waste into the water bodies. This can cause death of fishes. Then we have use of pesticide and herbicide in crop farms. This can result in death of both the matured and the young fishes in water bodies. Now still deposited in the pond can cause turbidity of the water which leads to poor respiration of fish. Then faulty equipment used in fishing can also pose as a risk factor that can cause negative impacts on fish farming at our assessment. Um, number one, list five fishing tools. Stay for risk factors associated with fish farming. State for uses of fish and other aquatic animals. Thank you for being on this platform. Please, if you find it difficult to answer this assessment, go over the video again and I believe you will get it right. Thank you.